we're good now. So, I'm sorry about those of you that were on my other one, but we were having some problems, and I don't even know why, like, we're not even in the middle of a storm, but, like, it randomly just, YouTube just randomly crashed, so I had to delete this, but I'm starting fresh again, um, I already have this one made, and I already have this one made, so we're just gonna continue from where we left off, and also, by the way, those of you that donated, um, the money that you donated wasn't deleted since I deleted the live stream. It went it went into my YouTube stuff, so don't worry about that. Okay, so since we have to start all fresh again from the bottom, make sure you guys like this video if you haven't done so already. So yeah, so I'm just making the second wing. One, two, three, four, five. And for those of you that are watching this, like, um... After it's been like officially uploaded, since it's not like live anymore, um, I had to. I was doing a live stream and then YouTube crashed, and then I had to restart. And yeah, so yes. All right, so I finished row one of five single crochets. Hi, how do you donate? Right next to this live chat, there should be a little dollar symbol neck on the right. And you press that and you can put how whatever amount of money you would like. And yeah. But you guys don't have to do that, obviously. It's just only if you really, really want to. Hi, Ryan. I'm about to fall asleep right now. You're working on a baby caterpillar? Oh, I was so confused. Oh my gosh, wait! Flower Valley Crafts? I was on Etsy and I searched up Rainbloom and I saw your store and I was like, wow, this girl's really good. <laughs> no, I won't fall asleep. I don't. You are working. Oh, yeah. Do you guys watch a, like, Capri Sun commercial where he's just like, oh, yeah. They used to be my favorite commercial. <sighs> what am I doing? I am making a rubber duck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're making a monkey or money? You're making, oh, a monkey. <clears throat> After this, I hopefully will make a seahorse because I just bought some turquoise jelly beans and some lime green beans. So, because I know those seahorses are selling like hotcakes. Like the second I put a seahorse up, you guys are like, <laughs> snatched. I'm just like, what? <laughs> I just put up like a minute ago and it's already sold out. So, hopefully I'll be making more. Lucy, go to bed! <laughs> or did you already wake up? Did you just take like a tick? Oh yeah, Lucy, I had to start over again because YouTube crashed. So, you didn't really miss much other than YouTube crashing. So, basically nothing. What you missed was nothing. Can you say my name, Violet? Yes. Speaking of Violet, for those of you Series of Unfortunate Events fans out there, Series of Unfortunate Season 2 is coming out in a few days, and I can barely breathe, and I'm going to force some of my friends that don't even like Series of Unfortunate Events to come here so we can watch it together, because I love Series of Unfortunate Events, and Series 2 is coming out so don't spoil it for me if you read it, because I've only gotten to, like, book 10. I swear, I read the whole series up to book 10, and then I stop, and then I don't read it for a long time. And then, and then I start all over again, 
which I don't really do that. I just started over again just to, because, okay, let me back up a little bit. So I first started reading a series of unfortunate events when I was in like third, fourth, fifth grade. And, um, so what was I saying? <laughs> Hi, Di, I am making your dog. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So then I started reading it, and then I got into, like, seventh grade, and I was like, you know what? I forgot what happened. Let me refresh my brain. Well, I didn't forget. I just wanted to get the key details that might be clues eventually in the series. So then I read up to book ten, and then I just stopped. So I need to read it again. And I'm so excited to see the carnivorous carnival one. <clears throat> okay. So, I got two wings, east coast or west coast, oh my god, I suck at geography, north, south, east, west, I think I'm on the north coast, <laughs> oh dear lord, save my soul, east or west, I'm more on the east, I would say, I don't even know what that means, honestly, I'm just kind of guessing, geography's, I suck at geography. Happy early Easter. Last year, my birthday was on Easter, actually. Put a southern twag on it. You made two wings. <laughs> yeah, I made two wings. Okay, now we're going to make the head. A more exciting part. These bands need some lotion. They're crusty and they dusty. No, I'm just kidding. They're just not smooth. Oh wait, that's not the lotion I use. This is the lotion I use. I should be jealous. This girl's my best friend, circus. Us together. Oh my gosh, I swear. I'm gonna use like all my lotion on these rubber bands. Like what the heck? But it's worth it. <laughs> I'm going to just give some shout-outs while I'm massaging my rubber bands. Haley Russell, Morgan Smith, Tori Gutierrez, Olympia, you've got maids. OG Ella, Tori Gutierrez, Tana Perez, Cookie Girl 4721, Lydia Brecken, Joyce Gow, Ashal Tariq, Allison Moa, coming so fast, Simply Sierra, Adrena Buzz, Stephanie Alvarez, Ryan, Amy Cass, Melina Farmer, Living with Angie, Finley Curlerman, Kirsten Cook, Tori Gutierrez, Life with Blibs, Ashley Pilia, Kaylee Jameson, Abby Anders and Alex, Tor Bella Marie, Bella Marie, Gymnast Forever, Grace White, Lucy E, the curse, the curse potion, Isabel Maria's, Materas, Saria Cobb. Oh my goodness, there's so many of you. I can't read that, that fast. Oh my gosh, they're just Zoe Z, Finley Kernelman, Theo Buzz. Soccer Star and Nerdy Gator 1000 and Sky Jewel. And Saria Cobian. And Needy Sade. And Queen Unicorn. And Buggy DIY. And the underscore gymnastics five, five. Sorry. I just don't like to really. That's all I'm going to do for now. If you haven't done so already, like this video. And maybe once this video gets to 55 likes, 60 likes, I'll give more shout outs. Because I need to get a move on with this rubber duck. It's already been like 10 minutes. And this is all I've done. And Anna the panda because she's a... No, don't cry. No. No, don't cry. Yeah, listen to Theo Buzz. Everyone smash that like button <laughs> to your friends slash classmates slash fellow peers. Think what you do is weird. Honestly, a lot of people that I know don't even really know what I do. 
only a few people know. Like not nobody in my class knows what I do, but some of my friends know. Basically, my whole church knows. Jujitsu, um, the people in jujitsu class know. I am crying right now because you gave me a shout out. Uh, you just smashed the like button. Just casually breaks iPad from smashing too hard. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting that I'm on spring break. Like, I'm like, man, I should really go to bed right now. I need to wake up for school. And I'm like, oh man, there ain't no school. That's the best feeling in the world, honestly, though. Shout out to Makeup by Jordan and Tiffany Douglas and Marcel Michelle. Kristen Kwok. One, two, three, four. I am 13 years old. Ryan's mother says hi. Hello. Wait, oh my gosh, I feel like such an idiot. Ryan's mother's name is Erin, right? I'm pretty sure. I can't believe I just forgot. One, two, three, four, five. What's my favorite food? Cheeseburgers and french fries and grapes. Lord knows those are my guilty pleasures. <laughs> Thank you, Amelia81917. Actually, my cousin's name is Amelia, and I saw her at my grandparents' house today, and she is just the cutest little thing ever. I just want to eat her. Well, I don't want to eat her. I think cannibalism is actually kind of disgusting. I just wanted to, like, just hug her and just, like, Ugh. she's so cute. And she, she can finally sit up on her own. And I was so happy. And she can finally crawl. I was just like, girl, where did you get those skills from? And she was just like. Ah, she's so cute. You're super awesome. I sludge hammered the line. When is your birthday? My birthday is April 16th. The day after Titanic sank. And the day after. Lucy, go to bed, you savage. <laughs> eh. No, I do not play Roblox. Like, I want to do a collab with someone. It's just, like, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel really socially awkward. Like, I'm not that awkward. I, I would hope. But, like, if someone's just, like, Hi, oh my gosh, like, how have you been? I'm just, like, good. How have you been? And they're just, like, good. And we just kind of stand there just, like, Yeah. <laughs> That happened to me four times today. <laughs> uh, like, I know I'm, like, pretty open with you guys. And with my family. And my, well, and some of my friends. I feel awkward around my friends sometimes as well. You guys are really the only people that I'm just like, hardy, hardy, ha. Because, like, I can't see you in real life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I do have a Etsy shop. I kind of restocked it a little bit. It's Emeline Zoomtique on Etsy. <clears throat> My hobbies. I am obsessed with dance. I really, really want to improve at dancing. And I want to oh I like 
I love cactuses and I love llamas and I love like anything really artsy like I'm more of like a visual arts like I'm more of like an arts and drama kind of person not Broadway I don't know I want to be on Broadway one day that'd be really cool but I love um <clears throat> to play the flute and I love to do rainbow loom obviously I like to play football with my dad, but we don't really do that as much as we used to because it's super cold outside and my football got all ruined, so I need to buy myself a new football so I can get better at playing football. And I like to play dodgeball as well. And I like to run, but not as much as I used to. Running. Oh. I like running, but sometimes it's just like, I can't, like your lungs hurt and you're just like, gosh darn it, why did I do it? <laughs> I would say that I'm like a pretty sporty person. It's just, I don't know, I kind of stopped doing like sporty stuff, but I want to get back into it because it was so much fun. And I love to camp. I love to go camping, I should say. Yeah. What type of dance do you do? You do music, musical theater and contemporary? I want to do, I want to do ballroom so bad. But there's like no ballroom studios here. So I guess I'm going to have to like be self-taught. Which I don't know how that's going to go down. Happy birthday, Tiffany. But I love doing contemporary so much. It's my favorite. And I like doing hip-hop when I'm in my room all by myself, but not in front of other people. Let's see now. Do I like soccer? I used to play soccer when I was like five. <laughs> but I don't really like it right now. I live in Michigan. Saginaw, Michigan. Can you notice me? Lila McConney. I have never been to California, I don't think. But I want to go to California so bad. Because there are a lot of famous YouTubers there that like... One day I could just casually be walking down the street and then just see like a YouTuber and I'm just going to be like. Ah. And they have a lot of cool things there. So all the sports I've done, I have done in my whole lifetime. I have done track cross country cheer palms dance soccer do do yeah <clears throat> yeah. Enter and increase. You saw Liza Kosh Koshi at Best Buy last week. Oh, I didn't design this rubber duck. Um, this tutorial is by Looming with Cheryl. No, I'm not really doing anything for spring break that I know of. 
but um, usually we go somewhere. Like last year, we went to Washington, D.C., I think, and two years ago, we went to Tennessee. Those were really fun places. I want to go again. I'm going to Tennessee sometime in like April or something. I have no idea. Like May or April or something. National competition. That is going to be my first uh, my first national dance competition ever. This is my first year on a competitive team. A competitive dance team. So my first competition is in like seven weeks. And I'm just that kind of person that can't handle stressful situations. Like, I can. It's just that my stomach starts to hurt so bad. And, like, I just, like, I just get so shaky and nauseous. And I just get so freaked out. But then once I'm done, I'm just like, oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> so it's like you worked up yourself for this for, like, a whole year. So far, I'm working on the head. I am on row five of the head. Uh, also, I think we're not really gonna do anything that big, like a big trip for spring break because we're trying to like save up our money so that when we do go to Tennessee for the dance competition that we can do like more fun things. So this spring break will kind of be nice relaxation. Maybe we can go to like an arcade or maybe we can go somewhere. I don't know. And I'm going to be working on my t-shirts. I'm going to tie-dye them. You have eight siblings. Poor child. Poor, poor child. I feel so bad for you. Have I ever made a llama ray balloon yet? Yes. I made, well, I made an alpaca. Tsum Tsum by Craft Muse. I've made two, actually. But one of them I gave to a family friend. But I have it on my floating shelf, and it's blue and green and white and looking all cute. And I love it so much. And yeah. Thank you, Adelina Martinez. I know I pronounced her name wrong. Oh, so many comments. Hi, Minion Loomer. <laughs> Thank you, Bella Moon. I know it's crazy. Like, I just. Like, things are just growing so fast, and I don't even know what's happening. And this is only the beginning. I'm hoping I'm um, opening my own P.O. box and making my merch grow. And then, um, yeah, this summer, oh my gosh, I cannot wait for this summer. I'm going to have, I'm going to have so much extra free time to make whatever I want. Okay. Oh my goodness. How in the world did she make those eyeballs? She made like blue eyeballs for the duck. Okay, so what she did, oh, um, oh, yes, 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 so Rainbow Loom sent me this bag, it's the neon blue pack, Gosh. sorry, that was weird, oh, I want to test out this hook real quick, they also sent me this go check out my video to see what else they sent me. Wow. I'm not used to a hook that is this skinny yet. But don't worry, I will be. In a few minutes. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so for the eyes, she just did like a light blue bands. And she put it, she pulled it over a white band. Well, she actually is using um a blue bead, but I don't have a blue bead. What is the pink lotion bottle that you have there on the back shelf? <laughs> I, I just had to rub some lotion on my bands because they were not the smoothest. Ooh, this bit. That just glided right through. Okay, I really like that. Okay, so we have to add the eyeballs. I love you so much. I went to Michael's today and I bought rubber bands. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. What is my favorite Disney character? Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I love Ariel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What row am I supposed to put the eyes on? I didn't quite figure that out. One, two, three, four. Hopefully I'm going to start selling my merch once I, you know, make a few more because so far this is the only shirt that I have fully completed. But I order, my, my uncle helped me order, um, oh my gosh, sorry, I just had a brain fart. It helps put the words on so that it goes by way more faster. So I need to make a, a bunch more before I start selling them. And by the way, I hand tie-dye these shirts, so the tie-dye ones are going to be a little bit more um, expensive than the um, solid color ones. What stitches did she put the eyes in? I would like to know. No, I do not have a musically, and yes, I have made slime. I made a slime at I made slime at my friend's house like over a year ago. I think. I have no idea when I did it. What size does my merchandise come in? Um so far I have sizes youth small through adult large, I believe. Okay, so I put eyes in stitches 9 and 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh my gosh, I was watching hilarious Instagram videos like for an hour straight today and I, I peed in my pants because I was laughing so hard oh wait no not today yesterday I peed my pants because I was laughing so hard. oh my gosh I was laughing so hard it was so hard. um like there was this one where this guy has fish dive so um I'm sorry I need to focus for a second 11, 12. Okay, so, um, so he, he dumped his fish, his dead fish into, like, this river, and a duck ate it. <laughs> and then there's this other one where it's like, um, no matter what, got money on my mind, like, I never get enough, and every time I step up in the building. Well, you know that, when it says everybody's hands go up, there was like, he was on Mario Kart, and then Toad's hands were just like, up. Oh. And then it was like, I'm laughing so hard. And then there was this one where this, like, dog rolled down the stairs. And then there was one where, like, there was this dude pretending to be a ninja, and he was like, water. And then the person recording had, like, a water bottle, and he was just like, and then he was like, air. And then... My phone is 5%, so I'll be commenting in the future vids. Bye, Lydia. Do 
do I like Harry Potter? No, nah, I don't like. I'm not obsessed with it. I've I've watched one movie, but that's because my band teacher forced me to. So. Oh my gosh, that looks really scary on camera. It'll look cuter once I add the eyelashes. I'm pretty sure. I love your T-shirt. When? Wait, what? I love you. Why? I was here when you only had 30 subscribers and I changed my phone three times, so I am back. <laughs> A kid in your class is obsessed with ducks. How old is he? Or she? Not assuming genders. I love you too, Tim. Tim White. Sorry, I can't pronounce names that well. What? I thought we were. <laughs> um. I don't know if I should do the light blue or the dark blue. That dark blue is kind of looking, the light blue, sorry, is kind of looking a little creepy on the duck. Ah, uh, I'm going to do dark blue. Gosh darn it. Okay, sorry. I don't want to regret life decisions. Light blue just makes it look extremely creepy. Nothing against the band. It's just, you don't want no possessed looking duck. Okay, so I'm just going to use this really, really, really cheap um, blue, but it works like, like amazing, so. Ugh, that's so much better. Darling, I'm glad that you chose dark blue because, mm. so now I got to do color change back. To yellow and then just keep going. Actually, now I have to do the other eye. Ah, oh, that was so much better. Okay, I haven't done so. Alexa, what time is it? It's 8.36 p.m. It's 8.36 p.m. for me. How do you make that? Magic, mighty. It's magic. I'm telling ya. I'm just kidding. I don't know. You just kinda make it. Once you practice a lot, you just kinda make it. Okay, so around seven through eight, I think you just do single crochets all the way around, but I do not want to jump to conclusions. Because when I jump to conclusions, it happens to be wrong, so. Okay, good. It is single crochet. Wait, is your name Channel or Chanel? Hernandez. Do you live in Florida? Because I had to read this daylight saving thing in school and it was like Florida is like an hour behind or something. Shout out to Haley Peters. Uh, I don't think I'll be coming to Ireland. Oh, you're from Chicago? I've been to Chicago once. You're from Texas? Hi, Simply Hollow. <gasps> Simply Hollow! Do you watch, do you watch Simply Neurological? I love. Oh, it's the perfume, like Chanel. Chanel is a perfume. Mm. 
Yes, I love Santa Maria Logical because she is great. Oh, Texas Luma. I have a lot of family that lives in Texas. Actually, my grandma is in Texas as of now, and she's the one that taught me how to crochet. But she's coming back tomorrow. Do I have school drama? Not that I know of. I don't get myself into drama. So there might be drama, but I don't know about it. And I would say that our school is pretty drama free. Well, my my grade, my grade. I'm not sure about 6th and 7th graders, but 8th grade, we're doing pretty good on drama, I think. I'm pretty good on staying away from drama, I should say. Wow, a lot of Texans out there. <laughs> Nerdy Gator. Yes. Gnarly. Radical. Shout out to uh, Megan Coon. Okay, Jacob Calvet wants to know who lives in North Carolina. So answer his question <laughs> wow there are a lot of Texans here may I add uh, someone lives in New York someone lives in Tennessee someone lives in Texas I live in Michigan <laughs> New York City No, wait, I forgot what my last dream was about. I had a dream, but I don't remember what it is about. Oh, man. This... <gasps> what? That's the craziest thing. You guys probably won't be able to see it. But, like, oh, my God. I know my nails look very bad. Just ignore that. But like you can't really see it but when you pull it apart you can kind of see like the ruffles in it like it looks perfect and silky smooth and then you pull it and you can see it right there it looks like an accordion it's all rough I'm just gonna pull it apart yeah it feels like chalk that's what happens when you don't put lotion on your bands <laughs> that's what happens to your skin if you don't put lotion on it no I'm just kidding you live in Hawaii? Shout out to Riley. Ivans. Ivans. Yes, I'm going to be making more seahorses this spring break and listing them out on Etsy. Mainly the turquoise and lime green ones and the um and the purple and pink ones. Sorry. Who lives in Tennessee? Some people want to know who lives in Tennessee. Thank you for being a new subscriber. Netta, Nita. Do I have a cat? No, I hate cats. I hate cats so much. They're so stupid. Shout out to Charles. Charles Loom, it's his birthday, everyone. Sing him happy birthday in the comments. Mm Yay! Now eat your cake. I use beads for the eyes on my swim tube on my swimsuits and some of my happy foods.
but usually I just use wrapped bands for my happy boots. Happy birthday, Deborah Hall. <gasps> what is what is up with this? <laughs> like it looks perfect, and then you stretch it out, and it's all brittle. Ah, oh, that sucks. Does anyone here have a birthday on July fifth? Anyone at all? July 5th birthday. No? Yes? You? My dog's birthday is on July 5th, that's why I ask. <laughs> Does anyone have their birthday on March 29th? Good night, Lucy. Anyone have a birthday March 9th? March 29th. Anyone at all? That's my dad's birthday. Okay, now I'm working on the beat. Thank you. What? You're gonna have to make me do that. Is this a temporary slip knot or a permanent slip knot? What? <laughs> Let's get my orange out. Yes, I have an Instagram. My birthday is April 16th. Okay. OMG. I, n I never say OMG. What the heck? There we go. No, you didn't annoy me. Wait, who else is live? What other Luma is live right now? No one. No, my birthday is the day after the Titanic sunk. That would be cool if it was the day the Titanic sunk. Actually, I was supposed to be born April 4th, which would have made my birthday 444. But instead, I was born 4164. So, yeah, if you haven't done so already, like this video. Wait, what? One, two, three, four. Take your hook out. Put it in the opposite way.
Oh, your birthday's when the Twin Tower came down? That's cool. If you guys are interested in making this rubber duck, the tutorial is coming from Looming with Cheryl. Your birthday is February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. Pretty nice. Does anyone have a birthday on June 6th? You get a lot of chocolate. What? Bye, Ashley. What? Just give me. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, I was right. My Instagram is Emmeline's Loom Teak. Emmeline's Dot Loom Teak. Gotta double the band before I put it on. I had um I had an Easter basket for sale but it sold and I don't really plan on making another one since Easter's like almost already here. We have a bunny rabbit that I'm gonna put for sale. I have a peep, like one of those little marshmallow bunny peeps. I have one of those for that I'm for sale already. We're making the lashes. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Ugh, we still have like 40 minutes left. that precious <laughs> okay I don't have a pair of scissors with me right now on this bed because <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut it off afterwards I mean cut the eyelash afterwards my Instagram is emmelines.limt
be definitely working on my t-shirts tomorrow. Because it's kind of late to start working on them now. Because they take a while. That does not look right. At all. I need to fix the beat. Sorry if I'm not reading your comments right now. It's just I need to focus on getting this beak on correctly. But I will read your comments in a second. Oh my gosh, I just had a total energy crash. I really just like feel like sleeping right now. And we still have like 40 minutes left. Ugh, what happened? That is not cute. Okay, I need to redo this beak. But I'm going to do it my way this time because I am not feeling this beak that she made. Where did I get my bands from? I usually get my bands from Michaels or Walmart or Amazon. These bands are all already stretched out since I used it, since they're kind of on the cheaper-ish side. Like, um, so I had to kind of throw it away. Alright, I'm just going to try to use my own method and stitch it onto the face. Kind of like how Craft Muse did her Donald Duck but in a more scaled down version. You're Filipino? Oh, today's your grandmother's birthday. When am I gonna put the Easter Bunny on Etsy? I don't really know. It's not really like an Easter Bunny. It's like, um, it's more of like a, uh, goodness. It's like just, uh, it's a purple bunny and it has a bib on, like a little white bib. And on the bib, it has a carrot on it. And then it also has carrots stitched onto its feet. So. I don't know if I can finish this in one live stream. My favorite loom YouTuber, I like looming with Cheryl, or Craft Muse, or I like um, Feeling Spiffy. Those are my top three. Carrots aren't good for bunnies. What do you mean? I should probably really go downstairs and spend time with my family. Because I just want to play a board game with my mom and dad right now. And I don't even know why. I just really want to. Hmm. Uh, so much better. My Etsy shop is called MLN's Lintique. And yes, I have a sibling. I got you back into looming and now you can't stop. Um, I'm not going to tell you my full name. But I will tell you that my middle name is Grace. Emily Grace. Yeah, it's just might be a little bit of TMI. But, like, I just feel, you can see that from far away. I just feel like a zit growing on my forehead. And it just hurts so bad. Uh, oh, my God, it's so painful. Yes, I am American. Why do I have an American accent? Ugh, that's disgusting, I know. But it's just, it's just life.
It like hurts so bad. It just. Oh. So. Walmart. What? How long have I been live? 55 minutes. 55 long minutes and all I've done is this. <laughs> I need to get a move on. Okay. I need to pace up my work by 50%. So I need to go faster. Right when I'm done with this live stream, I'm going to go downstairs, eat some pretzels, and... go downstairs and sit with my parents on the couch while we watch TV. That just sounds really nice right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm drinking water because I want to drink water. I don't know, like, sometimes I just get those cravings for water. Like, it's the weirdest thing. Like, we're just, and it's usually on car rides. Like, when I'm on car rides, I'm just like, I want water. I love you too, Slime Squad. What board game is your favorite? To play on the town. Wait, what do you mean to play on the time? town? Anyways, shout out to Taylor. Taylor Grace. So, I love to play Clue, but my parents never play Clue with me, and I don't even know why. I love Monopoly, but my parents don't really like to play Monopoly either because it's too long. So, we don't really play board games all that much, honestly. <clears throat> I just like to do them sometimes. Shout out to Elizabeth's world. Can I walk in heels? I would, mm, when we go to shoe stores, I always like find the most craziest pair of high heels and then I try to walk around in them. I can walk around in them, I just don't look graceful. Like my knees are bent and I'm just like, <laughs> Like, I don't get how models can just, like, their legs can be straight, and they're just like, tew, 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 tew. and then I'm just like. <laughs> Single stitch together. Oh, this is so cute. <sighs> Single stitch together. I'm so glad that you love my channel, Unidino. Shout out to Chanel Hernandez. Shout out to Hamster Gee. Thank you, Pusheen Llama Corn. I like your profile picture. It's really cute. I love llamas. Thank you, Tyler Grace. You guys are so nice. Hmm. Shout out to Jennifer Herman. Anyone from Canada? Any Canadians out there? Anyone? My favorite months. I like months that I can go camping. It has kind of nice weather, but no mosquitoes. So, I don't know what month that is. I would probably say like April or May. Or or June or July. I don't know. My favorite animal? A llama. Well, actually I like alpacas better. No offense, llamas. 
All right, now I have to do a slip knot on the last stitch. And gee, this is gonna be such a long live stream. It's been an hour and 30 seconds and I still have to make the body. Oh no, the eyelashes, no, come back. Oh geez. All right. What is my favorite sea animal? My favorite sea animal. I've never really thought of that. Maybe like... I have no idea. Oh my god, this is way too hard actually. Um... I don't know. Maybe like... An otter? Or, I have no idea. Or seahorse. I don't know. I'm not that much into sea life. Or turtles. Hi, Sparkling Fox 101. And I was born on April 16th. Thank you, Ali, Reese, and Anna. Okay, so we are making the body now. I am 13 years old. You're really cool. I made a giant pineapple out of loom bands and I have a YouTube channel. Sweet. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you. This is my ring. It's like three hearts. That one has like gems on it. And then there's like two rose gold hearts. And then on the back it's just like that. It's my purity ring. What is my favorite Halloween candy to eat? Oh my gosh, I just love your guys' questions. Like, I'm that kind of person that can, like, come up with the most randomest questions. And I just, like, I just love people that come up with random questions. I don't know why. It's just, I just love people that do that. My favorite Halloween candy would probably be a Snickers bar. This one house was giving away Lay's barbecue chips. But that's not considered a Halloween candy, so. I love barbecue chips. Those are my favorite type of chip. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.07 p.m. Mm. Oh my gosh. Like, looming is fun and all, it's just like, once you do it for so long, it just becomes like, really exhausting. Like, I just want to be done. Shout out to Angel. Mm, I don't know. I love looming. It's just so time consuming. Like, I don't know. Like, I've probably spent at least a month of my lifespan on looming just alone. And it's terrible because, like, I, I sit down while I loom. So what if I get blood clots? Like, uh, I don't want to die. I'm too young. 
I got an Echo Dot for Christmas. Mm. Shout out to Miranda Frost. Okay, now I'm doing a single, single increase. What is my favorite food from Starbucks? Um, I've never really had, I've never had Starbucks that much before. I remember my dad went to Starbucks once and he, um, and they were like, they were about to throw away like this peanut butter jelly combo thingy with cucumbers and whatever and they just gave it to him and he brought it home and he let me eat it. So, and I've also eaten a bagel from Starbucks, but that's all I've eaten. I've never ever ever drank in a drink from Starbucks ever. And I don't know. I want to keep it that way because I don't know. I don't want to get hooked on coffee because that's not caffeine is not good for you. And I don't want to spend too much money on coffee. I do have a PO box and I need to find out what the address is of it and then I'll tell you guys once I figure it out maybe I'll make a whole video on that so that everyone knows instead of people that just like stick around within two hours of live stream do I have any pets yes I have a Pomeranian poodle she's a little black fluffy dog and she smells disgusting right now I was supposed to give her a bath like a week ago but I didn't so oops and then I have a betta fish. <sighs> like this video if you haven't done so already because we're two likes away from 100. Just had to throw that out there. Yay, we're at 100. Single. Single and crease. I just, I just love having a YouTube channel because you guys are just so nice and like you guys are almost like my friends. And sometimes I feel like awkward in real life. Not awkward, it's just, I don't know. I don't really open up to people all that easily. Like, if we're talking for five minutes and you're a complete stranger, I will not, like, be my true self around you still. I'd kind of still be quiet. But, like, just having a YouTube channel, everyone is just like, oh my gosh, you're so cool. Oh my gosh, I love you. Oh my gosh, you're my idol. And it's just like, oh my gosh. It just feels really nice. Because I don't really have, like, a best friend at school. I just kind of have people that I hang out with. We're not necessarily like best friends or we're just kind of like acquaintances or friends, I guess. But like I I don't have like a best friend at school. But I have I have a best friend and she lives in Bay City and god, I love her. We were born on the same day, same hospital, same floor. And I'd probably talk about her in every single live stream because I'm obsessed with her and I just love her so much. But she doesn't have spring break until next week. So I wanted to have a sleepover with her this week, but she doesn't have spring break. <sighs> Here's another bad band, I think. These bands are so weird. It's like an accordion. Shout out to Felicity Happiness. Sorry if I'm not really acting like myself. I just am so tired. Do I eat sour candy? I have actually cut back on my sugar intake, which means I eat less sugar. And I've been eating less processed foods. 
which thank the Lord. So I haven't really been eating all that much candy. <sighs> I'm making a rubber duck. You have four dogs, nine cats, three fishes, and two hamsters? Wow. My gosh, do you see that red dot? That's another pimple. And that's another pimple. That's a bit of TMI, but like, it's just been bothering me like they hurt. And I don't know what it's coming from. Not drinking enough water. Am I stressed out? I don't know. <laughs> Your dad told you to go to bed, but you're not going to. <sighs> well, this might be a while. It's probably about like half an hour left. Hi, lucky girl 07. Your cat had kittens? What do you do with the C clips? Oh my gosh, I get so many of them that I honestly just throw them away when I get them. Shout out to Galila Guzman. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I probably pronounced her name wrong. Shout out to Potato Girl, Abby Anderson, Life with. Bilves, Bilves, Samantha Main, Nike, Meep, Harla B, Melanie's World, Cassandra Williams, It's Ginger James, Heidi Thesumarallare. Jace Pauly, Allie Reese and Anna, Adam Reeves, Galilee Guzman, oh, Taylor Grace. Yeah, I do have an Instagram. It's emmelines.lumtik. Alright, Emily, just keep going. You're almost done. Just think about the end. I am 13 years old. Oh my gosh, why are these bands so chalky? Like, they weren't chalky, but now they... My bands need more lotion. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yes, my Instagram is emmelines.lumtik. And, um, okay, this is a long one, so get your pencils and paper out and tell me when you're ready. Okay. Okay, so it's underscore Emily dot underscore dot Grace. 
with two E's underscore. Actually, it's funny that you ask that Apple is life one, two, three, four, because I am in the middle of making a skirt for myself. I was gonna make a dress, but I realized that was gonna take ages. So I'm gonna make a skirt so that I can wear a skirt with my Emmeline Slim Teak t-shirt. I'm gonna make a white one with black lettering on it and that's gonna look nice, hopefully. And not following a tutorial, I'm just kind of doing what I think is right. And I worked on it um, in church today and last night. And yeah. But I'm not going to show you guys what it looks like. I literally, it's it's only that thick so far. And it needs to be like, because I want it to be like, it, like kind of down to my knees. Or maybe a little bit less though. I don't know. Unicorn Slayer is a hater? What do you mean? Oh. Come on, Emily. You're almost done. Um, I am considering doing a giveaway once I get to like 15,000 subscribers. So we're about a third of the way there, but I have so much stuff that I'm going to give away. I'm going to give away like a t-shirt, some rubber bands, some looms, like actual rainbow looms, some hooks, an alpha loom. Um, I'm going to give away like a book, a guide, um, some, I got some stuff to give away. But only when this only when this channel gets to 15,000 subscribers. So if you want to win that giveaway, then tell your friends and family to subscribe so that we can do a giveaway faster. So the faster I get to 15,000, the faster that you could possibly be entered in a giveaway. And it's not gonna be one person winning all of that stuff. I'm probably gonna do like three or four separate winners so that, you know, there's more people to win more things. I am 13 years old. Also, you for those of you that just joined. I got some merchandise. <laughs> I got some merchandise. So yeah. You're doing your homework. That's what I probably should be doing. Oh my gosh, so many of you guys want me to make a unicorn. Yeah, I'm going to make a unicorn, Alexis. Hopefully, I want to um, make a unicorn from Feeling Swifty. Do I have a crush? No, not really. Like, everyone, I'm, I don't know, everyone that I know is just kind of like a jerk and mean, so, yeah. <laughs> Love you to the moon and back? Oh my god, that was my favorite book growing up. I think I might have it in my drawer, but I'm not sure. Wait, don't look at my junk drawer, it's really bad. Oh, and here's some slime and some lotion. I'll read this book to you guys just because I can. Where in the world? I'm gonna put that right back there where it belongs. Okay, guess how much I love you. This has been around since I was like two months old and it was my favorite book. Oh. This book was signed by somebody. It says, welcome to the world, little one. Okay, little nut brown hair who was going to bed held on tight to big nut brown hair's very long ears. What? Wait, did I miss a part? Yeah, I missed a part. I can't read that much backwards. <laughs> he wanted to be sure, 
that big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said big nut brown hair. I don't even know I'm reading this to you guys. I just want to. This much, he said. Little nut brown hair stretched out his arms as wide as they could go. Big nut brown hair had even longer arms, but I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that's a lot longer, thought little nut brown hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said big nut brown hair. That is very high, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I had arms like that. Then, Little Nut Brown Hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. I love you all the way to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him over his head. This was my favorite book growing up. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair, bouncing up and down. Hi, Addison. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair, and he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you across the river over the hill, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That's very far, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. Then he looked behind the thorn bushes and out into the big dark night. Nothing could be farther than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and he closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That's very, very far. But Big Nut Brown Hair settled in the little nut brown hair into a bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him goodnight. Then they lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. The end. Young, what? That was young Emily's favorite book. Okay, now getting back to looming. I can't believe I just wasted time on that. So if you liked that book, then give this video a thumbs up. Uh. Um, I bought those bands off of orientaltradingcompany.com, I believe. I believe that's what it's called. Um. Yes, I have two Pluto Tsum Tsums available. So, yeah. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.27 p.m. <gasps> Last time I asked, it was 9.07. How in the world did 20 minutes go by? Mm. Uh, yes, I do go to a public school. And nobody really, nobody in my class knows about my channel as of now. Hopefully the word spreads, but some of my friends know about my channel and they, they don't really care all that much. But they watch my videos. One of my friends was on here earlier from school. 
But I have like none of my friends in any of my classes. We're so close to the end, oh my goodness. Thank you sisters, let's play. You have school tomorrow? <coughs> no, I'm just kidding, that sucks. Oh, we have some advice giving here. Everything with Desi says, can you help me? I have a crush and he likes me and I like him. Well, what I think I'm not that good with um I'm not that good with crush advice because yeah but I'm good at giving advice so here's what I got for you so <laughs> okay so man I suck at this um well you should Hang out with his, get to know his friends. Well, no, actually, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I'm not that good at crush advice. I suck at crush advice, but I'm, I am good at advice. What? It's what? Okay. <laughs> Dad, is Uriah here? Or as my little cousin. He's having a sleepover with my sister. I wonder if he hung up and see your stream and call him no later. Hmm. Well, I'd be fine if he came up here, but like, they need to say hi and then leave. <laughs> I just wait till I get back and come up with him. I don't have to get him out. Alright. I need to go to KFC. <laughs> KFC's good and all, but like greasy chicken at like 9.30 p.m. I'm going to make myself a peanut butter jelly sandwich. You want something different? No, I'll eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich. But thanks. <laughs> that was my dad. Half. Okay, so... My dad over there is like half of me right here. Because, yeah, my dad's 50% of my DNA, and my mom's the other half of my DNA. And half plus half equals 100, and I'm a 100 of a person. Okay, back to the person that I was talking about, Desi. I can't really help with crush advice, but I'll just give it a shot. And if this doesn't work, please do not come to me and be all mad that it did not work. Because I already warned you. But anyways, so maybe I think what you should do is that maybe you could get to know his friends and see if they talk, like, see if they kind of, like, try to embarrass him. Because if they try to embarrass him around you, like, oh, he likes you, huh? Then... Well, then, duh, he likes you. So then you could just be like, oh, I like him too. <laughs> oh, my God, I suck at this, man. Um, if you guys have lockers, you could write down on a piece of paper, like, something about being a secret admirer and whatever. Oh, wait, actually, I already ate a peanut butter jelly sandwich today. I don't want to feel it. Actually, I'm going to text my dad right now. I'm actually kind of in the mood for Wendy's. I actually changed my mind. I want Wendy's. Thank you. Thank you, XOXO. -X oh, gosh darn it. XOXOXO, <laughs> yas. I love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm texting my dad.
dad is Puerto Rican and dad is Puerto Rican and my mom is Mexican but I'm obviously American that's just like kind of where our ancestors are so like I'm just like an average American I'm not like yes he said yes <clears throat> what does it mean when a guy you like use you like gives you a fraction how much do you like three fifths what no my dad is um puerto rican well puerto rican is like i i honestly don't even know <laughs> i know that he's puerto rican and i know that my mom's mexican but like my mom doesn't look mexican she just looks like an average caucasian All right, this is my last row for the rubber duck. And then I get to stuff him and tie the head on and tie the wings on. Does your dad get mad at you for buying rubber bands? No, actually, my parents support my channel and my business like so much. I couldn't be blessed more because they're the ones that are telling me to buy more rubber bands. They're like, hey, you need to buy more rubber bands. You have this much you have X amount of money to go and help support your business. Um, and they're just so nice. And they're never mad at me for wanting to grow my business. They're always encouraging me to grow my business. And they're always like, hey, you need to get more rubber bands. Or they're like, how are you doing on your t-shirts? Or they're like, yeah. So my parents are helping me with my merchandise right now. And yeah. Oh, also, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but, um, John, Tr John Trey Cartes, sorry, I probably butchered your name, but, um, is, okay, I'm gonna sound so dumb right now, but are you the guy that said that you're Filipino, or is that another dude? He's just really awkward silence. Awkward. I think he left. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Um, all right, I'm pretty sure he's long gone. Oh my gosh, he's back, okay. Yes, and my name is Justin. I'm using my dad's account. Okay, so, um, what is, like, Filipino, <laughs> sorry, what does Filipino, like, mean? Like, what are your ancestors, or, like, like, what's Filipino? Like, I know that Alex Wasabi is Filipino, and that Bretman Rock is Filipino. But, like, I never really exactly knew what that meant. <laughs> you don't really know? This is I was tie-dyeing some shirts. And, oh my god, I did not shave my legs, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. And I got some tie-dye on my thigh. I mean, <clears throat> my shin. And it looks like I cut myself... But it's just tie-dye ink. Hmm. 
Okay, I need to get a move on. I keep getting distracted. Gosh darn it. Okay. Wait, I am so close to finishing. Hi, Molly Packard. Answer this, please. Why do you like glooming? I don't know. I just like it. Okay, I finished my rounds. Now what do I have to do? How many people are in my household family? Four, including myself. Two single crochets, three and four together. Okay, what inspired me to loom? I don't, I don't know, actually. I have no idea. Like, when Rainbow Loom was a really big thing, me and my friend, we're still kind of, we're still friends, I would say, but not as good as we used to be, unfortunately. And it's kind of sad, but we used to have our own little business, and we'd make, like, bracelets and sell them in her driveway for, like, 50 cents. And she had, like, such a big neighborhood that I remember we would, we made, like, we made like 50 bucks and then we had a lemonade stand and we made like a hundred bucks because her neighborhood is just like so not so busy but like it's kind of busy and um but I remember the person that inspired me to make a YouTube channel was actually AG overseas fan which is an American girl doll youtuber and when I first started my YouTube channel I revolved it around American Girl doll reviews. So I'd like go to the store and I'd like show them around the My Life as section at Walmart. I'd show them hairstyles or whatever. Oh my gosh, those videos are still up on my channel. I don't I hate watching them. Oh my god, I just hate watching myself. But um But yeah, I used to be an American Girl doll channel and my YouTube channel actually was called AG AGM, which American Girl Emily. But then I changed it to Emmeline because I liked doing squishies and zoom zooms as well. And so I was like, you know what, I'll make it more of a gen general name. So I called myself Emmeline because my friend at school, she always calls me Emmeline, and I don't even know why. It was just a nickname she came up with, and I really liked it, so I called it my YouTube channel name and now it's just really normal to hear the word Emmeline. At first it sounded weird. I was like, Emmeline, that sounds weird. But now I just hear it so often that it just sounds normal. Like it's just crazy to think about that like a long time ago, McDonald's, like the word McDonald's probably sounded weird. Like they were like, McDonald's, that's such a weird name. But now you hear McDonald's and it's just normal. I don't know. That's how kind of I think about things. I'm a very good, I'm not good, I'm, I think a lot in my head. Like I just think a lot about the most randomest things that don't even make sense. Where can you buy my Shirley's? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Now I gotta do five single crochets. Hmm. Oh, my shirts. Um, I'm gonna put them on Etsy, but I'm not gonna put them up until I have enough made. Every time I chat, you always look down. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate my science teacher. She pulled me out of class because I made a 50 on a paper. What does that mean? What does it mean when a guy you like gives you a fraction how much they like you? Three out of five? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I know that, um, one, two, like sometimes if like, 
they're like tbh's slide up if you want one and then like people just slide up and they're like i rate you a three out of five so they're basically like rating you how much they like you as a person i don't know i don't do that stuff because that just that's just rude not rude but like I don't know, and even if you ask for a TBH, you know you're not getting an, their honest opinion, because if somebody secretly hates you, they're not going to be like, oh my god, I hate your guts, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty, and you're so fun, and we should hang out more, like, that's what everyone says, it's just a waste of time, and I don't believe in it, or like the one Sahara.com, like people are obsessed with it, I was like, you do realize though, ah, <laughs> oh, lord. I'll be selling my shirts on my Etsy account, which is MLN's Lintique. Guys, when does the series of unfortunate events come out on Netflix? Please tell me. I need to know. I don't want to. One and two together. One and two together. I need to stuff it. Today? No, it doesn't. Does it? March 20th. March 30th? These answers are all over the place. I heard that it came out. I heard that it's coming out in like three days. Or something. Maybe Alexa knows. Alexa, when is the series of unfortunate events series two come out on Netflix? She probably won't know. Here's something I found on Wikipedia. <laughs> he is best known for his leading role as Klaus Baudelaire in the Netflix series Klaus A series Baudelaire. of unfortunate events series in 2017. Did that answer your question? No. <laughs> Thanks for your feedback. <laughs> Uh, Alex <laughs> she's such a savage like she doesn't answer any of my questions she was like Claus Baudelaire was featured as blah 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 in 2017 when I asked her when does series 2 come out she's like does that answer your question I was like no she's like Thanks for your feedback. And then she just leaves. I'm like, you're not even going to ask me what my question was? <laughs> oh, I'm, I want to do a meet and greet with you guys so I can meet you. But, like, I don't know. I just feel like only famous YouTubers can have meet and greets. And I'm not quite there yet. So, it might be a while. Hi, you might remember this from your last live yesterday. But you said umbrellas if you love your fans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where did I get my ring? Uh, shout out to Crazy Panda 101. Go get your sleep. Um. Um. Sorry, I had a brain fart. It's my purity ring, and my dad picked it out for me. My mom might have picked it out too. I don't know, but. Yeah, I really like it. He did such a great job, and it's so beautiful. And it's like, um, <coughs> I think he got it from like K Jewelers. I don't know, some jewelry place, like a real jewelry place. Because I'm like allergic to fake metals, so I can't really wear any like fake jewelry or else it will like turn my like hand green and it will become real bad. I, the YouTube family, you're going to. I tell my crush that you like him tomorrow. Well, good luck with that. I guess, like, you have nothing to be afraid of. Because there's two, th like, to be honest, the worst that could go wrong is that he's just like, well, I don't like you. And then that just means that there's somebody else better in the world for you. Because I'm Christian, and I believe that everything happens for a reason. So if he doesn't like you, then that just means that God has a better plan for you to meet an even better person. So there you go. Fact. 
Yes, I'm still live. Unfortunately. No, I'm just kidding. I like talking to you guys. But I just want to be done with this duck to see how it looks already. Hmm. Can you give me a shout out because my dad is a famous Puerto Rican singer? Oh my gosh. Shout out to Palarba Pineapple Crew. Thank you, Fabulous 12. Will you be making a Lumigurumi Nemo Sum Sum tutorial? I, I am sorry. I don't think I'm going to be making a tutorial on that. I don't know. I just kind of like being the only person in the whole world that knows it, which is kind of dumb. But I don't know. It just makes me feel special. This is my first duck that I've ever made, by the way. Why is the ball? Oh! I see. Oh, you have to be kidding. That's so cute. I thought it was going to look like that. I was like, that's not a rubber duck. I mean, I realized it looks like that. I'm like, oh, it's so cute. Okay, so now we have to sew this little head on. What she did was she just put little um, slip knots all around. But I will be making more Nemos to put on my Etsy as well as more seahorses. And yeah. Hi, I'm really tired because I stayed up all, all late last night and I woke up really early and you don't want to go to bed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to sell my shirts. It's just I have to make enough in enough sizes. So I have to make enough shirts and enough sizes and enough colors before I list them out because I don't really want to just randomly have like one shirt up that's ready. And then just like, you know, I want to have like a big grand reveal where I have like 30 shirts released. I have a bunch of shirts downstairs, and that, like I said earlier, I have to wait for the machine to come, like the machine printer thingy to come, so I can put um, the words on it easier. Because this one was a prototype. My mom just made it out of her Cricut vinyl, because my mom is like a wizard. And then I just hand tie dyed this shirt by hand. But yeah. Oh, and I went to Michael's and I bought some like canvas pouches that um we're gonna customize. I wanna do I wanna do like cute little like Rambloom stuff on it, like Rambloom quotes on it or whatever I guess. But I don't want it to be like trademarked. Like I think we're gonna have to eventually trademark Emmeline's Lumtique so that nobody can like steal it or whatever. But, um, I want to do something like Keep Calm and Loom On or something. Or maybe we could do, like, um, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know. I just, I'm not that big into, like, quote t-shirts. You know, like those t-shirts you see at the store that are like, I sweat glitter. Like, I don't like shirts like that, but I feel like I want to do one that's like, looming is my cardio. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing that, though. I don't know, I just, that might trademarked. Like, the is my cardio thing. Okay, we got that done. Now I just got to add the fins and then cut the lashes. And this rubber ducky is ready to go swimming. Not really, though. Just a disclaimer, if you do buy anything, if you do really buy anything from my Etsy shop, um, don't, don't, do not put it in the water because there is stuffing inside 
and if you get the stuffing on the inside wet then it might start to stink and smell because the stuffing will smell weird and you will just get heads in. And then it will stay all soppy and wet. I recently found your channel and it wanted me to start Rain Bloom again since Rain Bloom is dead. True. It's really cool to see some advanced blooming. I'm surprised you got noticed by Rain Bloom. Good luck. Thank you. Have you ever ate a Rain Bloom then pooped it out and thought it was a bad idea? No. I'm not here to die, man. My dad is home with food. But I gotta finish putting on the wig. Hurry up and put on the last wing so I can eat food. Am I the only one that feels like extremely guilty after eating fast food? Like, I just feel so bad and I don't even know why. Like, I don't have an eating disorder or anything. Like, I know some people think I do because I'm kind of like on the bonier side. But I, I swear in my life I don't. <laughs> some people think I don't eat, but like, I probably eat more than you do. <laughs> but like, I don't know why, I just feel guilty when I eat fast food because I had to take health class and they were like, don't eat fast food because fast food is bad for you and it can clog your arteries and make you have a heart attack, which leads to a faster death. Do not eat fast food. I repeat, do not eat fast food and stay away from sugary foods or else you will die. Thank you. Eat broccoli. That was literally my health class. And ever since then, I've been like hesitant to eat fast food. And I'm just like, but fast food's bad for you. And they're just like, I don't care. But it's so good. <laughs> uh, that's the worst thing about it. It's so good, but so bad for you. Well, it's not that. Let me just say that eating fast food is better than eating no food because you need to have at least some nutrients into your body. It's just not the best nutrients for your body. It's kind of on the bad side of things because it has like more fatty stuff in it. But whatever. Oh, thank you, Lord. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am all done making this. Of course, I still have to snip the little eyelashes, so they look like little eyelashes. Um, but yeah, uh, she did her, um, yeah, I always wash my hands before I make these. Um, yeah, I definitely do. I like scrub my hands so hard, but, um, this is how it looks when it's all done. By the way, if you want one of these, I believe... This costs, I think it's $5 on my Etsy shop, but I already have somebody that bought this, pre-ordered this. She was on my live stream earlier. Her name is Di, and her little profile picture is like a little pink sprinkled donut, and she's like the best customer ever. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. And watch out for the merch. Bye!